Good morning, dogs. It's Monday. Frank for scholarship, school counselor week, and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The deadline for the Frankfurt Scholarship is quickly approaching. If you need a new packet, they have plenty in the Student Services Office. All portions must be returned to Student Services by 3 p.m. on February 23rd. Every year, Clinton County Civic Theater pres presents $2,000 non-renewable scholarships to Clinton County graduate seniors. Whether <laughs> your field is theater, television, music, or radio, either in performance or production, you should definitely apply. Applications are available in the guidance office right now. The deadline for application submissions are April 19th. We'd like to congratulate my boy, Doug Wood, on being selected in the 2023-2024 IFCA Academic All-State Team. Doug finished his football career at Frankfurt with 2,745 total yards and 17 touchdowns. On top of being a standout in football, basketball, and track, Doug has done an outstanding job in the classroom. Now sports and weather. Thank you, Kirby. This weekend, there was a lot of action, starting off with girls basketball, as they took on the Athenians Friday night. They started off hot, scoring 10 points in the first three minutes. Then the game settled out in the second and third quarter. They then took off in the fourth as they scored 15 to get the win, 43 to 31. Leading in scoring was Ella McAtee with 17, who is also Hoosierland TV's player of the game. Syra Flores had 10 points along with 8 rebounds. Vanessa Guardado, Guardado had 9 points and 7 rebounds. And the Lady Hot Dogs had a great defensive effort as they had a team total of 17 steals. Congrats, ladies. Make sure you wish them good luck as they play this Tuesday at Twin Lakes against the West Lafayette Red Devils. Start time will be at 7 p.m. as this is the first round of sectionals. Good luck, ladies. And if you plan on going, you can buy your tickets online or at the door, but card only, no cash. The boys as well took on the Athenians Friday night and got the win as well. They pushed the ball well and had great ball movement, leading to open shots. Kai Kirby and Alex Farley led scoring as they combined for 43 points. Then Saturday night, the boys took on the Red Devils as they fought hard but fell to them. Also happening this Saturday was wrestling sectionals as they all fought hard and gave it their all. Moving on is Leo Roa as well as Daniel Martinez. Congrats to everyone over this weekend. Sadly, there's no hot dog sports going on tonight, so that will wrap it up. Now to Anthony. Thank you, Eddie, and good morning, dogs. It's Monday, so I bet we're all tired right now. Anyways, for today's high, it will be a nice 38 degrees, and our low will be 30, but there will be an 85% chance of rain or freezing rain in our area. That will be it for today, and as I want to keep things short and simple, so stay safe and don't drive recklessly. Not a Kai Kirby. For lunch today, in lines 1 and 2, we'll be having chicken alfredo and a garlic knot. In line 3, we'll be barbecue rib sandwich, and last but not least, pull apart pizza. In line four, we would like to wish a special happy birthday to Jonathan Fearnow and Trey Seward. That's it for the announcements. Oh, marvelous Monday, Gaties and gentlemen.